Welcome to an exploration of Epicureanism, a philosophy of serenity born amid chaos. Eager to unravel its tenets and impact, let's begin our narrative journey. In 323 BCE, Alexander the Great, a warrior etched in history for his vast conquests, breathed his last. His demise provoked chaos and disillusionment, a turbulence that mirrored the tumult of his conquests. Athens, an intellectual and cultural metropolis, was swept into the eye of this storm, grappling with political and societal uncertainty. Amidst this tumult, a new societal longing was ignited, a desire for personal peace in a tumultuous world. This desire birthed the philosophy of Epicureanism, advocating pleasure as the highest virtue. The followers of this philosophy, known as Epicureans, yearned for ataraxia, a state free from fear and pain. Their belief was that this state could be obtained not through gaining wealth or worldly pleasures, but through the nurturing of friendships and embracing the simplicity of life. As such, Epicureanism served as a beacon of tranquility in a storm of chaos, guiding individuals towards a path paved with pleasure, simplicity, and camaraderie. Consequently, philosophy became a lighthouse in an era engulfed by unpredictability and turmoil. Epicureanism, emphasizing personal tranquility achieved through modest joys and fostering friendships, emerged as an answer to the instability and chaos of the times. Epicureanism, birthed amid societal turbulence, illuminated a path of tranquility. Unlike popular belief, it's not about indulgence, but treads on moderation. In the tumultuous Hellenistic period, Epicurus posited ataraxia or inner peace, a beacon against chaos, attainable through nurturing friendships and embracing life's simplicity. This way of life espouses not just physical, but also intellectual pleasures, and separates desires into necessary and unnecessary reinventing internal equilibrium. Life's ultimate good, according to Epicureans, isn't fleeting pleasure but tranquility, akin to ataraxia. This encourages moderating desires to stave off unnecessary pains that cloud our contentment. Knowledge forms the pillars of inner peace, dispelling fear, and contributing towards a fulfilled and enlightened existence. Friendships occupy a pivotal role in this philosophy. Unpeeled within the layers of social and intellectual camaraderie, they're seen as the lifeblood of a content human existence. Amid the uncertainty of the Hellenistic era, Epicureanism guided many towards a tranquil life, a testament to the wisdom this teaching holds even for the modern world, continuously seeking personal and societal peace. In 341 BCE, amidst the serene ambience of the Aegean island of Samos, a visionary named Epicurus was born, who later sought the intellectual allure of Athens in 307 BCE. Here, he established a unique philosophical school known as the Garden. Reflecting Epicurus's dogma, the Garden stood for tranquility born out of simplicity and the enrichment of human bonds. This garden, both a physical and ideological sanctuary, envisaged the core tenets of Epicureanism. It was a manifestation of the good life according to Epicurus, a retreat that embodied the attainability of tranquility, advocating a balance between physical and intellectual pleasures. Emphasizing the nurturing of friendships and embracing a simplistic lifestyle, Epicurus, through his teachings and the establishment of the garden, demonstrated that living in moderation and understanding desires could lead to a fulfilled existence. The ethos of the garden served as a practical model, showing the world that attaining tranquility wasn't an unreachable ideal. It was, indeed, a living reality possible through the application of Epicurean principles. Using this philosophy as his compass, Epicurus turned the garden into a beacon of tranquility, cultivating an environment that became the embodiment of the tranquility Epicureanism sought. Epicurus's philosophy wasn't a mere intellectual discourse, it was a life lived. Through his example, he showed the world that tranquility is attainable, not in the abstraction, but in reality. Epicureanism holds simplicity and tranquility as paramount virtues stemming from a profound understanding of nature. Its nucleus, atomism, posits the universe as a dance of atoms moving within voids, an idea propounded by philosophers Democritus, a pre-Socratic philosopher, and Leucippus, known to be Democritus's teacher in the 5th century BC, well before Epicurus. At the heart of this philosophy is the pursuit of happiness, but not through indulgence or seeking material wealth, but by reducing pain and embracing simplicity. 
Now let's turn our attention towards the divine notion in Epicureanism. While many contemporaries believed in gods intervening in worldly affairs, Epicurean philosophy takes a different turn. Epicureanism, instead, dismisses divine intervention, suggesting that if deities exist, they're indifferent to human affairs. This might seem revolutionary, but Epicurean philosophy steers the focus towards inherent harmony of natural laws and pleasures within human reach to attain tranquility. Underneath these philosophies lies a common thread, the quest for happiness. Happiness, in the Epicurean sense, isn't achieved through extravagant lifestyles, but through simplicity, understanding of nature, and the pursuit of attainable pleasures, paving a tranquil way of life. The heart of Epicureanism is a life focused on friendship, the sanctuary of privacy, and the embrace of moderation. Firmly grounded during the chaotic Hellenistic era, these principles served as an antidote to societal unrest, forging a path of tranquility and contentment. Friendship, likened to life-giving water in Epicurean philosophy, is of paramount importance. It was fostered and cherished over shared meals in the tranquil retreat of private life, a harbor separated from the political turmoil of public life. In pursuit of tranquility, not indulgence, Epicureans embraced the philosophy of moderation. They likened unnecessary desires to attempting a feast when a seasonal fruit can suffice, teaching us that pleasure in life can be found in the simplest of things. This principle outlines the path to ataraxia, the ultimate goal of Epicureans, the philosophical sanctuary. The garden encapsulates these principles, providing a snapshot of Epicurean daily life. Communal meals, grounded in the spirit of unity and comradeship, form the backbone of this shared space. They were complemented by engaging philosophical discussions aimed at nurturing the intellectual mind. The enjoyment of simple pleasures, the cornerstone of Epicurean lifestyle, provided the foundational tapestry of tranquil living. Thus, the Epicureans crafted an existence encapsulating balance, tranquility, and contentment, applying core principles to daily life that remains relevant even today. Epicureanism was not confined to the intellectual hub of Athens, it permeated diverse cultures across the Hellenistic world, transcending geopolitical boundaries to resonate with societies as distant as Rome and Asia Minor. It endured, not despite, but often because of the philosophical and political challenges it faced, embodying resilience as it thrived amidst adversity. Notably, its legacy was crystallized centuries later, with the significant discovery of Epicurean texts among the Herculaneum scrolls, testament to the enduring appeal and influence of this philosophy. The core principles of Epicureanism, promoting tranquility through the nurture of friendships and the pursuit of ataraxia, a state of serene calmness, continue to hold sway in a contemporary context. As we reflect on this philosophy, we recognize that it offers time-tested wisdom for those seeking tranquility and serenity in their own lives proving its relevance centuries after its inception in towering columns of Athens. As we delve into Epicureanism, it's vital to understand its contemporaries, Stoicism and Platonism. Epicureans craved ataraxia, a serene state achieved through moderate pleasures and fostering friendships. Stoicism, on the other hand, extolled virtue as the highest form of excellence, teaching resilience and emotional fortitude in the face of adversity. Platonism took a different route entirely, shifting the focus towards the metaphysical search for eternal truths and forms. When we compare these philosophies, we notice stark differences. In the realm of virtue, Epicureanism highlights it as a path towards tranquility, whereas Stoicism views it as an end goal. On the perception of pleasure, some divergences pop up again. In Epicureanism, earthly and straightforward pleasures rule the roost, on the contrary, Platonism emphasizes the pursuit of intellectual pleasure and learning. Our journey further gravitates us towards their perspectives of divinity, each unique in its perception and understanding. As we grasp these contrasts, we shed light on the core philosophy of Epicureanism against its contemporaries, highlighting its unique ethos. In the heart of Athens in the 4th century BCE, Epicurus's philosophy had a unique proposal savoring life's simple pleasures. Picture an afternoon spent sharing a meal with a dear friend or the pure joy of a gentle breeze. 
Epicureanism prompts us to find fulfillment in these nuanced moments, steering us away from the vortex of modern materialism. Today, we see this manifested in the minimalist lifestyle, where the idea is to declutter not just our homes, but our lives from unnecessary desires. Diving into the Epicurean philosophy, we find that shared meals are more than just heartening conversations over a feast. They serve as a pivot, helping us form bonds with fellow beings, a bulwark against existential loneliness. Imagine the serenity attained through this shared joy, away from the maddening flurry of isolation. Epicureanism roots also deepen into the realm of knowledge, encouraging its seekers to quench the thirst of curiosity, and in doing so, ease the existential angst. Conclusively, Epicureanism might be an ancient philosophy, but it has many modern implications. From advocating minimalism to fostering community bonds, it provides a treasure trove of time-tested solutions for modern existential issues. Epicureanism, often depicted as an advocate for unrestrained hedonism and being indifferent to civic responsibility, has been a victim of misconception. Rather than strictly indulging in earthly delights, it conversely encourages calculated moderation in pleasure and proposes an ethos focused on mental tranquility. Beliefs in unfettered hedonism often trivialize the philosophical depth of Epicureanism, reducing it to an impractical pursuit of desire. Similarly, its perceived withdrawal from societal responsibilities has projected an image of Epicureanism as escapist and self-serving. Nonetheless, Epicureanism does not abdicate societal roles. Friendship forms a substantial pillar of its doctrine, underscoring its emphasis on mutual harmony. Present debates reflect the same dichotomy. Scholars argue that in lieu of hedonism, the philosophy extols a frugal lifestyle with self-imposed limits on pleasure. Frowning upon public life doesn't necessitate alienation, but is a chosen retreat to a serene mind space away from clamor. Thus, apprehending these nuances is crucial to unearthing the multidimensional aspect of Epicureanism, a study that shapes our understanding of its vital contributions to philosophy. The pursuit of happiness is a timeless quest across cultures. However, the approach taken by the philosophy of Epicureanism offers a unique perspective. Rather than indulging in excess, it champions the cause of tranquility, dubbed ataraxia, and pleasure through moderation. The removal of pain, it asserts, is the true form of pleasure. Furthermore, it recognizes friendship and knowledge as the bedrock of a fulfilling life. This philosophy cautions against the trap of extraneous desires and materialistic pursuits, advocating for a life rooted in tranquility. Epicureanism's enduring relevance in the modern world lies in its call for simplicity, community, and intellectual curiosity in our pursuit of tranquility. The wisdom encapsulated in these principles, although conceived thousands of years ago, continues to resonate, promising serenity amidst the chaos of life.